My name's Keith Hodson. I've been a volunteer at Standen for some 15 years or so. Philip Webb was one of the most influential members of the whole art craft movement and he mainly influenced the idea of art craft in architecture and I suppose what typifies an art craft house which can be seen exemplified in Standen is essentially the use of traditional materials styles, techniques from the local area. It's a house I could live in. <laughs> it, it's a warm friendly house. The, the, the whole design of it, the proportion of the rooms, the positioning of the rooms, the form and function of the interior, the fittings, one just feels entirely comfortable with and nice to be surrounded by. It just is a joy, a pure delight. The first house he built was for William Morris back in 1861 Red House. This was built some 30 years later and so really is almost at the end of his career and is one of his last major pro projects. So it, it sort of is the fulfilment, I think, of his whole architectural development. As a person, I think very, very different from the buildings he produced, which are are magnificent. I mean, they, they're so expressive. Unlike himself, who was very, 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 very quiet and self-effacing. What would it be? One word. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> very. I mean, it's just very pleasing to the eye. I mean, it is. It 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 just is a wonderful-looking house.